Hi everyone, my name is Jamie. Welcome to Border Bananas. I recently redid my laundry room and when I did that, I tore out my pantry shelving. That room is about 85% complete at this moment. But before I can finish that, I need to figure out where to put all the food that I had in those pantry shelving on, in these couple of cabinets right here and have them easily accessible for my family and myself. So if that's something you're interested in, please stay tuned. Okay, to start off, up top here is where I have some of my seasonal dishes, as well as my milk glass collection that I'm not currently using. And I think that's gonna have to come out and I'm gonna have to find a better place to store that. And then these cabinets, these shelves, in the front is the food, but in the back is more seasonal type dishes, like things I don't use all the time, like a springform pan and pie plates and, you know, that kind of thing. And in this cabinet, it's just, it's just thrown together. Everything that was downstairs, I just shoved it in there. So I've got to try and figure out a way to make these two cabinets work. So you can totally tell that I skipped out in zone cleaning for the entire summer. Look at these cabinets. <gasps> That's like uh, molasses or something. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. And look at the mess. And I have to tell you that if I get rid of, not get rid of, but take care of all this other stuff, relocate it somewhere, purge, that kind of thing and once I go through and look for the ins expired food and maybe the food that we I just know we won't eat I have a feeling this is very so this is what I will be using to clean I love my Miss Myers products they smell great this is what I always use and I get almost all of my cleaning supplies from the Grove who I always have linked down below if you spend $20 there you get a whole bunch of freebies um, and like I said, it's linked down below if you're interested. If not, that's okay too. But let's get this, <laughs> let's get this going here. Whew. So I do have two of these Dollar Tree uh, bins left over from another project. So I think I might try to utilize them somehow.
here is a quick overview. When I went grocery shopping last time, I did not realize that I had these two bags of flour and sugar left, and I bought those ones. Lesson learned. The top shelf, I have the overstock, as well as some baking supplies like my chocolate chips and the extra graham cracker crust and muffin liners, that kind of thing. And then down here I have, um, in the back is the Crisco type stuff and the flour and sugar, and this is all confectioner sugar. That's how much I use at Christmas time when I'm making my cookies and candies and all that good stuff that I make every year to give away, but I only, I didn't even make half of it last year. I ran out of time. So that's all left over from last year. So I don't need to buy any this year. And I checked all the um, expiration dates and it's still good. And then down here I have more random baking supplies that I, you know, obviously need. So that's that cabinet. And up here, you guys, I did not need to purge any of my milk glass. I was so excited about that because I totally wasn't ready. And after I uh, went through and got rid of all the stuff that wasn't expired, which there wasn't that much, and consolidated my spices and stuff like that, um, this is what I came up with. This is kind of like my lunch cabinet right here. I have a little bit of you know, soup and sammy stuff going on. And back here I have some random... Um, condiments and then as well as some overstock condiments stuff that we use quite a bit so there's that and then down here I have my pastas my box goods beans dinner canned goods and then um, extra oil and stuff over there and that's it I am really happy with the way this has turned out so this is what I'm purging. I've got one of those old Target pedestal plates, a uh, KitchenAid teapot or tea kettle, a butter dish, cake pans, and chargers that I've only ever used for decoration. So I'm getting rid of them. So although it's not perfect, it is a huge step in the right direction. Progress, not perfection. That's my motto <laughs> because that perfection thing kind of trips me up sometimes so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe sorry about odin um <laughs> and uh i will check you later thanks guys bye